campaign season is upon us and it's time for a little hatch act update hi this is lenny kaiser with clearancejobs.com there are a lot of do's and don'ts guides for hatch act activities what is the hatch act it governs the political activities for federal employees and also service members getting a refresher on it today because there was a news story they wrote about it over at clearance jobs secretary of the navy Overseas, this is like what happens in Vegas doesn't actually stay in Vegas if you have a security clearance. What happens when you're in Europe and you're the Secretary of the Navy will not stay there. In a news report, Secretary of the Navy made some political partisan comments about the election. A lot of kerfuffle now because that is actually a Hatch Act violation. In your official capacity, you may not make comments about who you're supporting for office. Um, this is it's transparent for service members they're in or out of uniform for federal government employees sometimes there's you know a little confusion but if you're operating in your official capacity people are asking you questions you cannot comment on who you are supporting for office i that's there's so much going on right now when it comes to the federal workforce the future of the federal workforce project 25 a lot of chatter around that clearly we know in the federal government there are a number of folks who are serving in um, political appointments political positions even if you are a political appointee serving in that capacity using your official capacity so if you're a secretary of anything and then using that official capacity to make partisan political statements is going to be a no-go Again, for the average clearance holder or federal employee much more straightforward yes you can register to vote Yes, you can vote. Yes, you can donate to political causes. Yes, you can attend political fundraising events. No, you cannot attend political fundraising events in uniform or in um, some costume of your federal service. You cannot host or be like the chair running a fundraiser for a, polit a, a political event. Um, no, you cannot if you're a service member on base housing post political signs. If you're a federal worker posting political signs in your office workplace, those are all no goes. So more yes and no's from us over at clearance jobs. Um, but the straightforward is just, you know, be, be nonpartisan to every extent possible, especially if you are in uniform or in your federal position. For more on this and for more on that recent Hatch Act request, go over to clearancejobs.com.